Hey, Mr. T's Homeroom. I'm here today with your read aloud of Fuzzy Mud. We're on chapter 29, page 136, and the chapter's called Wednesday, November 3rd, 3.33 p.m. Now remember, when they entered the forest, it was 1 p.m., so now it's about two and a half hours later, and now Marshall, Tamaya, and Chad are all in the forest. Let's see what's going on. Tamaya was trapped in a ditch, shouting for help, and Chad was beating her with a stick. That was how it looked to Marshall from the side of the hill. Hmm. So I'm inferring right now, and I can infer that after the fall, remember, uh, Tamaya was leading Chad, and she fell, and she brought Chad with her. And Chad's, he's poking the stick to try to help her up. Remember yesterday, he was holding the stick in her direction so she could grab it, but she couldn't see anymore, so now they both can't see um, so that, now Marshall's walking up on this. Hey, leave her alone, he shouted, but they were too far away to hear him. He hurried down the hill, slapping at branches to slow his momentum. Chad continued to swing the stick like some kind of wild man. Leave her alone, Marshall shouted again. They still didn't hear him. When he reached the step, the steep drop-off, he dug the edges of his sneakers down into the dirt and slid back and forth like a skier down toward the gully. Hmm, I heard a simile. Did anybody else hear a simile there? I'm going to read it again. When he reached the steep drop-off, he dug the edges of his sneakers into the dirt and slid back and forth like a skier down toward the gully. Hmm, that's that simile where... Uh, Marshall is being compared to a skier, so his heels are in the mud and he's sliding down, and it looks like he's skiing. Hmm. Good synonym there. I meant simile, sorry. Chad, he shouted. Chad stopped mid-swing. If you want to fight someone, fight me, Marshall challenged. Marshall, screamed to Maya, save me! Drop the stick, he commanded. He edged his way downward. Chad continued to swing. I'm trying to help her. I said leave her alone. The mud's really bad, Marshall, Tamaya called to him. Chad's blind. He's trying to get the stick to me. For the first time, Marshall finally could see Chad's grotesquely blistered and swollen face. Blind? He had to turn all his thoughts inside out and backward in order to try to take in what was happening. I'm almost there, he called back. Just quit swinging that stick. He slid the final few feet into the edge of the gully and tried to reach out to Tamaya. I'm here, he said. Hold out your hand. She was too far away. Right. Don't let the mud get you, she warned. He didn't care about himself. He let one foot slide down the side of the gully into the mud as he reached for her. The mud was well past his knee when the tips of his fingers touched Tamaya's. Mud pasted her face. Her eyes were shut tight. Lean a little toward me, he urged as he inched just a little bit closer. She bent toward him. He grabbed her hand. I gotcha. He pulled hard, but she wouldn't budge. Try to take a step, he urged. I'm trying, she screamed. It was hopeless. He looked at Chad, standing motionless on the other side. Chad, we need you. I can't, Chad answered. You have to, said Marshall. Chad took a tentative step and then stopped. I can't, he repeated. Marshall let go of Tamaya. It took all of his effort just to raise his own leg out of the mud. He moved along at the side of the gully until he was safely clear of Tamaya. Jump toward my voice, he told Chad. Jump as hard and as fast as you can. I can't. Just do it, you thumb-sucking coward. Hey, Chad shouted and then came flying toward him. Marshall grabbed him by the arms as he landed to keep him from falling backward into the gully. Come on, he urged. He guided Chad back to Tamaya, and they each stepped down into the mud. Tamaya stretched out her arms. Marshall grabbed one hand, and Chad found the other. They pulled. She still wouldn't move. Keep pulling, Marshall urged. A deep grunt came from somewhere inside of Chad, and Tamaya moved just a little bit closer. They kept pulling. Another grunt, and Tamaya took a small step, and then another. Put your hand on my shoulder, Marshall told her. As she did, he wrapped his arm around her waist and then pried her up out of the mud. Hmm. Two times 67 million, 108,864 equals 134 million, 217,728. 
2 times 134,217,728 equals 268,435,456. And that's the end of our read aloud today. Look how the next chapter looks. See all the dots, how that much they've grown? Okay, so I want you to tune into Flipgrid for our discussion question, which you'll find out when you get over on that place. And that's going to be your assignment due on Wednesday. Okay, guys, so go to Flipgrid, the same thing I posted in the last assignment, and it'll be posted in the next one. You are going to participate in our discussion of our read aloud today. I hope y'all are having a good time, and I hope you enjoyed today's read aloud, and tune in tomorrow for the next one.